Right. Lewis Dodd, second midfielder, um, six season at the club now. Uh, just hoping really for this year for uh, to continue the good work on last year really. Yeah. Um, it's been a long project and I think, but Brad's a uh, Brad started, but I think given uh, some of the signings this year, um, there's no reason why we can't go through the next league and, and beyond. If I'm brutally honest, uh, <laughs> we've got rid of some of the dead wood, there's a few still here like, namely the star striker Liam Henson. But uh, they brought Mikey Robertson that in, you know, he was more than adequate replacement. But uh, now we're just hoping for, for uh, another strong season. Yeah. Uh, so, by pre season, I think it's went pretty well. Um, I think we've had three good tests. Obviously, we should have really had a test of the year, but the jobs have been rained up. But I think it's turned out a good day anyway. Um, so, yeah, the lads getting up and singing and the sun too. Good see what about the standard of the singing did you think? Yeah, well, I thought it was pretty poor cool compared to myself, Mike, but I mean I was just happy for John McCready because he's been shaking like a shitty dog for about three weeks now. Um, no, but I think Dan Taylor did well and there was one missing five layers. I wouldn't do it, but I mean uh, that we'll come on to that one. No, it's been a good I think it's been a good season. I think we've started well. I think last pre-season we had the the bars and all that. But um <laughs> No, it's come to him, it's been alright, to be fair. Hi, James. Paul Johnson, near centre half. I've just come from Celtic Nation this season. So, what are you looking forward to this year? Um, see, I'm looking forward to getting to know all the lads, um, which I've got, I've got to know a lot of them already. Um, I think in pre season, we look really good in patches and hopefully put together a, a good run in the league and, and hopefully challenge up there to get promoted automatically, hopefully. So now we've got the draws out, which game are you looking forward to? Yeah? Well, it's Darlow straight away, isn't it? We've got Darlow, it's on Tuesday, the second game. Yeah. Uh, I've heard that there'll be 3,500 there, hopefully, something like that, and they're the games we want to play in, like, in big atmospheres and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm excited about that game, man. So the ambitions for the season, the season winning the league this year? Or I think we've got, I think everyone, everyone I've spoken to, everyone wants to win the league, I think everyone ex expects us to do well this year, and I think, I think there's a quiet confidence in the squad, so hopefully we can, we can go go through pre-season doing well and uh, come the season we, we'll be firing all cylinders and uh, ready to go out. That's brilliant. Hi, all right. What's your name? Uh, John McCready. Uh, what, what play centre midfield. Centre midfield, Send midfield. Yeah. Uh, What are your ambitions for this year then, John? Uh, I think, obviously I wasn't here last season, but I think we've just got to push on from uh, last season. I thought I don't see why we can kind of reach the playoffs at least and maybe even we'll win it. So, so yeah. that's the ambition, yeah. You're looking for a good season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, uh, what do you think of the draw? The, for the, for the yeah, well, obviously the big game goal has come uh, quite early, so obviously I'll be looking at that one. Yeah, uh, I think everyone's, game, yeah, everyone's yeah. looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah it'll be, I think it'll be a few fouls in there, so obviously it'll be a huge game for yeah, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so what are your impressions of the club then? Are you I'm like very, very impressed. Like, uh, obviously, because I had a look around and Jay told us everything, obviously what goes on in the club. And, everything that you said so I've been very very impressed. Shane Henry and um, midfield. So what are you looking forward to this uh, this year this year? Um, looking forward to starting the season new club um, new surroundings new environment and I think uh, it's quite exciting for what's going to go on. So where were you playing last season? Played at Whitby last year. Whitby. Yeah. So is, is that easier travelling for you or yeah well it's I don't mind the travel to be fair, but it's 20 minutes rather than 45, so and, but it's less travel to the main games, but it's still a little bit of travel. Yeah. So you look forward, what, what, what did you think of the fixtures when the, when the yeah, team? Darlow's second game over the under that, you know, Bears, full house, beat them. I think everybody's looking forward to that one. Aye, the crack, it should be a cracking game. Yeah, anyway, thanks. Well, uh, good luck for the season. Thank you very much. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, my name's uh, Lee McAndrew. Um, joined the club from uh, Dunstan. Um, I'm a left winger. Um, looking forward to the season with a new club after playing at Dunstan for five years. It's quite a commitment to, to actually go to spend more. Um, so, looking forward to a new challenge, really. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. So, what have your thoughts on the fixtures, Kevin? I was quite. It was, well, it's quite pleasing to actually say that you're going to play against different teams really. When you play in the Northern League for as many years as I have, um, you know, it's, it gets a bit repetitive playing against the same team. So I'm looking forward to playing against different teams and seeing different grounds this year. Um, Darling, it's the first 
best home game of the season. Yeah, that would be good. I mean, it would be a good crowd there, so it would be, be good to play against them there. Yeah, that's so it. It's a disappointing day, we're getting washed out. But it is when you've prepared and you've set up and you've turned up at uh, two hours away to play a game against Armthorpe, which, you know, it was the right decision in the end. I just feel sorry for all the supporters who came here. Uh, and the chairman was obviously put us up in the lovely hotel. But I think the benefit of that is we had a lot of lads who probably didn't need a game. Uh, will benefit for the, from the layoff today. And it's give us a chance to bond with the lads who've just been just turned up. You know, to, to give them an opportunity to sing their songs, the initiation initiation songs, quite early today. So, no, it'll be a good day, good night, and we will roll on again next week because the lads have they've worked hard all week. And to be honest, the rest will probably do a lot for them good. So I didn't see you. So didn't see you up singing in June, no. Mate, I've been here 25 years. The last song I did was start spreading the news. You know, New York, New York. None of the younger lads will remember that now. Uh, but it's all good fun. Uh, we, have, you know, we pride ourselves, myself, Gavin, and Glenn, on, on good team spirit. And I think the boys that we brought in this year, the second to none. Uh, you know, brilliant, brilliant bunch of boys. If anything, um, I'm more excited this year than I have been in a long time because we have got some special players here. But you know. And I know that pre-season is all about getting match fitness, getting team shape together because you can have the best pre-season in the world and it might not go to plan in, in the season. So we're not taking anything for granted. We know we're in for a long, hard season, but today's been uh, probably the icing on the cake of where we want to be and where we are at the moment. So now we've got the draw out. Obviously Darlington quite early on, first warm game of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's always exciting whenever you're going to play Darlington. The first uh, fixture I looked at, to be honest, um, and when it came out the first home day, mixed emotions. One, you get out of the way quicker, you know, and there'll be a big crowd in there. But I think it's the same for both teams. We both find our feet. We'll have had one game and then straight to a midweek game. Uh, whether it will have an effect on the crowd, I don't know. But every non league fan, whether they're a Spenny Moore or Darling supporter, I would imagine they want to come and watch the game like they did in previous years. You know, we had a massive crowd last time. Although we didn't win the game, I think the game was was a real top advert for non-league football and I've said it many occasions, Dalton were the best team on the night. Hopefully we can uh, change that outcome on, on the Tuesday that we play them. That's great, Jeff. Thanks very much. All right, and, uh, thanks, enjoy Mike. Cheers, Mike. Thanks.